what's going on everybody it's your boy sport thank you so much for clicking on the video yet again um as always i got my girl in my arms we are here at makeman makeman is a japanese um diy slash home improvement store so this is pretty much japan's home depot we're gonna go inside it today and just a little bit a couple of spoilers this place actually sells a lot of stuff they have like this car you can get your car oil changed here they actually sell pets like full-on birds dogs cats fish and a lot of other stuff so let's go ahead and check it out Here. All right, let's go. So here's the main entrance here. It's like checkout. Ah, damn, what the hell is that? The king screaming in here? <laughs> so this is like the garden section here. Um, all of this stuff, so it looks familiar. We can go through all of this stuff too. main entrance here I tried to use this ATM when I first got here it would not work for me for some reason that's only a Japanese ATM I don't accept international cards or nothing here right here look at this so convenient I love these little so things. convenient let's think about Japan let's go to walk through the store this is the best aisle in this store right here though. the mosquito bug aisle so many it's like mosquito season out here right now and there's like so many mosquitoes right in front of our house walked out to the car and got bit we have a bunch of dehumidifiers air purifiers got a whole water aisle for kids canopies outdoor Oh, yeah, you know. Floor liners. <laughs> this is what I like about this place, man. I don't know. I literally like to come here, just walk around and look. They even sell TVs here. They got some TV options here. Sofas, furniture, obviously got your furniture. This is like the light aisle, the light section. So many Tons options, of, so bright. Exactly, like Japanese lights are like really weird because the majority of them you've probably never seen ports, uh, ports for. They use different ports. All right. And the best part about this store is just like all other stores, you have tons of uh, workers here who speak English. So like I was looking for something very specific one day. I had to find someone who spoke English and they helped me out. So but they have a bunch of stuff like anything you're most likely to find in the Home Depot or Lowe's for the most part, they will have it. But it would be like their version of it. Car stuff. Look at all that. Go down that aisle. You guys hear my son crying because he wants to have his way all the time. Got a bunch of car stuff here. I actually need some new windshield wipers. Yeah, I don't. Do. I do for my uh, BB. You have this book right here. Your rubber is falling on every time it like. Crazy. Got more car stuff over here. Baby in the car. Just like how he's acting, he's acting like a baby right now because you don't want to listen. <laughs> stickers, these are like... Um, what is this sticker? This is a new driver sticker. So if you're a new driver in Japan, you have to have this on your car to let everyone else know. Then you have this one, which is like... Um, this is pretty, These two stickers are pretty much the same, like handicap, handicapable. Then you have this one, which is like um, elderly stickers. People above the age of 65 usually, they have this on their car. So it's pretty cool. So you have like three different type of handy capable stickers here depending on how you want to display it because a lot of people don't feel comfortable with this one so they have that one or that one right there. Do you have white must? They do. This is the number one. Ooh. Yo, this right here, probably gonna buy a big box of these and ship them back. This is 
the best smelling scent on the island. White musk. For those who like, you, you, you haven't been here if you don't know about white musk. What? Let's see what else we got. Bunch of fake rocks and everything. <laughs> Straight knockoffs. Look at this, you got bikes here. Exercise equipment, bikes. I ain't never seen bicycles at Home Depot before, to be honest with you. <laughs> this is the area, this is, this is what I wanted to tell you guys to. Look at this, man. Like, this area right here is, imagine coming for like something stupid, like a tape measure and you leave with a whole dog or a bunny. This Why is the place to do it. I never saw this part. Because you don't, you don't like to walk through the stores to look. I just don't be paying attention. Look at this. Oh, look at the birds. Got birds over there and hamsters. Excuse me, bunnies down at the bottom. Got all these cages for them and everything. Are those real? Where? Oh, those are bugs. What is that? Oh, that's a beetle. Are they real? Yeah, I'm sure they're real. Two hundred dollars for one. Imagine paying a hundred dollars for a bug. That's real. That's disgusting. It's, is it eating? It's eating something. It looks this like. This one is. Is that honey or something? I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's eating something. And that's actually crazy. They got bugs here. No, those those beetles are something. They're very rare because they're big. But I ain't never seen a store trying to sell an insect for over $200 before. That's the, dogs. the dogs, I think we're over here. Um, or this may be the grooming section. I don't know, uh, do they sell dogs here? They should because there are windows here. I don't know if they they stopped selling them. Can um, we take a peek? Uh, they probably stopped selling them for now because they used to be over here. Oops. Yeah, so they do have dogs and cats here and they have a, they have a, um, a cart just for pets only. You see pets only on the cart. That's kind of that's cute. That's cute, I guess. <laughs> Bikes over here. Price ain't bad too. That's a little. That's like two hundred and fifty, two hundred forty dollars, something like that. Correct my mouth. I don't know. It's not bad though. Not a bad price for a bike. Yeah, more bikes here. The bikes here are fairly cheap. Do you have super mad expensive bikes out of like thousands of dollars for no reason? Like this one right here, this is like, this is an electric bike, but the design is not practical what we're used to. But here, everyone has a bike. Strollers, I think these are strollers, right? We're gonna go back to this section right here. Japanese appliances, look how small the washers and dryers are. You know what's crazy? These are like considered big sizes too. You have some more, it's like a little cooler, refrigerators. I think this is a washer, that's a washer. I think they're, they serve as both, right? Washers and dryers, some of them. You have your refrigerators, which is That's absolutely. That's a full size. Yeah, this is like considered like a full size one right here. Yeah, look how tall you are compared to. Exactly. Like, I mean, it's you can fit some stuff in there. You can't. You can't even fit a whole gallon of milk in there. You can't. Unless you take out of a sh uh, take out a shelf. I think this is like a smart one too. Oh wow, that's spacious in there. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, it's not. <laughs> See, in order to fit a gallon of milk, you have to turn it sideways or either take out a shelf. This may be just a cooler or... Oh, this is... That's dope. It's like a vegetable refrigerator or something. For like produce. Yeah, so we're going to go to the other section to where all the tools and stuff at. So the first section was like for the ladies and then the next section is going to be for all the men because I already know the men want to see what they have here, tools related. So there's two parts, well it's actually three parts to the store. You have this store, you have this side. 
then you have the side um, right through here and then you also have the outside portion which you have all your plants and everything regarding to gardening and everything like that so DIY yeah this is yeah DIY side is like over here towards the back end you have a bunch of storage this is actually where we got majority of our storage from these are our trash cans too our little recycling bins that we got when we first got here mm -hmm. we got what four of them yep look at all these storage containers here Japan is really big on storage because the homes are so small, so you have to have a way to store all your items, right? So they have a bunch of these little bins that are like, like they're stockable for the most part. And you can buy a bunch of these bins and a lot of them will go together in order to maximize space because you don't have, you don't have the space you're used to in America for the most part. Yeah. But they have these little plastic portable wood top little drawers. I have one of these. I don't know which one. I think it's this one. Right? I think I bought this one. It was on sale. So we got a couple of these things. You also have stuff for like water. We'll probably never buy nothing like that. You got like little water sh things as well. Um, these are like tr for trucks and everything. I know it looks sturdy, but it's really thin. It's not tough at all. You have a bunch of like hoses. We actually need to get a hose. We have uh, dehumidifiers. In order for us to use it, I gotta find out which size hose we need. And I can have it to work around outside so we can, like if we're not home or something, we can leave the dehumidifier on. Don't want another disaster. Yeah, we don't want to come back home to mold everywhere in the house like what just happened not too long ago. It wasn't everywhere, but it was like on a, everything that was cloth for the most part, like the carpet and um, the chairs, computer chairs. You got little uh, diesel engines um, for like, um, you know, spraying, spraying and everything. Never saw one like this though. This is actually pretty unique. So this is like the gardening section over here. Got these cool little things as well. The, let's see what you got over here. Those look like pressure washers. You got some pressure washer options over here. Clean like your patio deck or something. Got some steam cleaners over here. This is pretty cool. Auctions. Right, here's some of the men's stuff that we guys are waiting to see right here. Yeah. Power tools. Bosch is a very huge brand here. Very popular brand. I think they have Stanley, um, DeWalt. I don't, I haven't seen DeWalt stuff out here yet. I don't know in terms of what brands they like, like to use for the most part, but Bosch. Prices 288, 28,000 yen. It's not bad. Ooh, got some nail guns over here for, for freaking roofers and everybody if you guys are into roofing. They got some air compressors, um, guns there as well. This is what we need. What's that? Oh, wow. I thought I broke it. <laughs> this is the mosquito net, it looks like. I don't know if it, like, it can connect to already a door or you have to buy it individual, but I would like to like have the front door open with just a screen, I know, you but you notice we've never just opened the door or opened the windows. Hell no, because we, we don't have spiders. we don't have yeah you got bugs that again and spiders. Nets on the windows. Yeah, you got a bunch of bugs and critters that you want out of your house out here, because this is a tropical island. This is a tropical island. You're gonna have a lot of bugs. It's always gonna be humid, so you really got to limit what comes in and out of your house. Look at this, you got some, these look like breakers over here, for the most part. Welding mask. Oh, welding shit, oh, well, no breakers, yeah. Got some welding masks over here, very cheap, cheaply made too, you can just fill it. Um, can you see me? Uh-huh. So I can't see you, for the most part. 
cheap roller masks, some of the cheapest I've ever seen. You got some more expensive ones over here. <laughs> toilets, there we go, look at that one. <laughs> Japanese toilets. Some of the best toilets on planet Earth, man. Look like you got some shower heads. Look at this, you got, uh, is this a mess feature or something? Then you have sinks. Japanese sinks are very small, as you guys can see over there. Different shower heads and you got some, um, oh wow, this is actually pretty nice right here. Bath heads here. Toto. Oh, we got some these bigger some sinks big over here. Sinks. These, these, these are considered big sinks in Japan, believe it or not. These are huge. What do we got over here? Some water heaters it look like, right? Those are very small water heaters. For those who know in the States, we got the big circular ones that somewhere in a garage or somewhere in the house. That's what you got there. That's why you have to manually turn it on and off. Um, because they don't have like a, a water heater that's always on. You have to turn it on and turn it off. It drives me insane, but at least it's right up there by the shower because that's the only time we use hot water. Drain stoppers. I have to come here and I have to buy, which one is it? Oh, uh, do they even have it? But for the sink? For the sink. I have to buy one of these like every month. It's really annoying that we have to manually change out the sink. Because you know like some sinks, have garbage disposals and everything like that. Like an electric one that you just Yeah, or some there. sinks take these right here, like the little stoppers for the food. So whenever you're done washing dishes, take it out and dump it. Not out here, you have these big things right here. And it gets very nasty and very disgusting. Cause, cause we're human, we forget to freaking dump it every time we use it, right? So it builds up over time and it just gets absolutely disgusting. To where I have to, re I have to replace that like every month. And it costs like $10. You got some wood stuff over here, very small selection of it. You got like, oh. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool, it's spring loaded, so you can just pop it off. Little tool for your bed. Like I said, again, very thin. You can easily, you can just pry through that. Like I, I wouldn't buy this to secure nothing expensive. Cause you can just take a sledgehammer right to the side and that shit will break the bus open. What we got over here? Got some more repair supplies over here. Uh-uh. Spray paint, which is really big in Japan. Why do I say spray paint is big in Japan? Because they make you pass a whole citizenship test before they allow you to buy it. It's crazy. You guys, you, you guys think buying uh, spray paint in America is, is, is rough. No, buying it out here is rough. Because there's like barely any graffiti out here for a reason, right? They don't graffiti stuff out here. Mailboxes, custom made mailboxes. This may sound weird, but I kind of want to buy one for memory when we leave. But how cool would that be if we get our own house and instead of using an American mailbox, we use a Japanese mailbox. Like this one right here or something, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that's just me though. Some more DIY stuff over here. Chains, links. These are like little pulley systems. Pulley rings, that's pretty cool. Some more storage bins. These are, I, I have some of these, right? I have two, two of these. Right underneath my computer desk, works like a miracle. I wanted to get more, but my wife won't let me. There's literally no more room in the house. There's yeah, there's no room in the house for anything, man. It's crazy. Um, we got little plastic things for your shoes. So whenever like you don't work at someone else's house, because Japanese people don't wear shoes in the home. But if you're like a worker taking on and off your shoes in someone's home, it's kind of annoying. So they just put those on the bottom of their shoes. Mm -hmm. You got some gardening stuff out here. Rubber boots. These are like pants. This is like a combo right here. So you get the boots and the coveralls. More rubber boots. It's crazy. They have these jackets out here as well with fans in them. No shit fans. So the jackets have like little fans in the back. 
Absolutely and it, needed. And it like it suctions on your arm and as well on your stomach and it fills up with air. So on like on a super hot day, yeah, it keeps you mad cool. Cause you would never see Japanese workers on a super hot day like wearing like short sleeves. They'll always wear the jacket with the fans on the back. And if they have it here, I'll show it to you guys. The combination of the sweat and the fan is like cooling. Yeah, it's mad insane too. It will most likely be over here on this aisle. So you got a lot of work out, work clothes and everything. Look how small these jackets are compared to me. That's the three large, three L. I can't fit that. What else we got here? For those who's watching to this point, I appreciate you guys. Come on. A lot of people say, what about lawn care? What about lawn care? Yeah, you have some stuff over here. Not bad too with the price. Got a bunch of, I don't know if it's gas, or maybe just gasoline here. Got some electric options here, it looks like. Plug up, plug and play, not too many. And you have some um, some tillers. Are these like land tillers? Till the land or something? I don't know. It looks like it. We got two lawnmowers here. I think this is an electric lawnmower as well. The old style. Okay, now we're gonna go down here with the materials and gardening section. This is where you get all your wood, your fresh raw wood. You have a bunch of pottery options as well, which is actually pretty nice. So again, this place is not as big as a Home Depot or a Lowe's because it is in Japan. They put it in a very unique spot as well. This is actually right in the smack dab center of a very, probably the most well-known tourist spot here in Okinawa, which is American Village. So you got a lot of hotels over here, a lot of tourist spot uh, things over here, and they managed to put a department store right slap in the middle of all of that. So that's pretty cool. I don't think we can go to, yes, we can, we can go this way. See, this is like, this is the normal size sink in Japan right here. That's what you get. A lot of wood options here. Mama, uh -huh. Mama. We got pipes. We're not gonna go through all of this stuff. Obviously it takes too, takes too long. We got some pipe options here. You got metal pipes over here, it's PVC. Uh, some different type of PVC pipes here as well. I don't, I don't think they have copper here though. I don't think they sell copper pipes here. I don't know if they do. So wanna let me know down in the comments. Stone, they got bricks here. Oh, look at all that stuff. Wood, wood, wood. That's pretty cool. Got some wheelbarrows here. Ashley can cut the wood over here for you. Some sheet woods. Here we go. I don't. I haven't seen plywood here yet. Have you seen plywood? I don't really know what plywood is. You got some super thick sheet wood. It's almost like you can build a table or something out of it. Gardening home stuff, more pots. Like this is nice actually. The price is not bad either. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we showed you guys the store. Let us know what you guys think down in the comment sections and everything. We're gonna return this. What are we eating at? Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know by hitting the like button. Comment and subscribing so that way I know what to post in the future. You know, if you guys want to see more videos about me exploring different Japanese places, let me know. You gotta let me know. Until next time, though, it's your boy. And I'll meet you guys outside. Peace.